Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March, 2019. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, and it truly is, and it starts early. It is gonna be right around the 5th and 6th where a whole lot is happening in the sky that is going to speak to you in important ways. So the first is Mercury goes retrograde and Mercury will retrograde in the same part of the sky that we are also going to have a new moon right around the same time. And this is a part of the sky for you that has to do with money. Money you spend, money that you earn is covered here as well as issues of self-esteem and self-worth. Now, this Mercury retrograde is going to be dancing with Neptune, and this new moon is also happening hand in hand with Neptune as well. Now, under ordinary circumstances, just that alone would suggest that you want to be careful. You want to stick to the tried and true when it comes to your finances, uh, and especially of all the signs out there, I would say you would be best not to have any kind of large purchases uh, where it comes to at least for this month. However, that new moon is especially intriguing because it is going to be speaking in harmony with Saturn and Pluto in the sign just before yours. It is also going to be speaking in harmony with Mars that is moving through the very foundation of your chart. And so what this tells me is chances are some financial opportunity that you thought was lost could come back around again. And it could be something from long ago. Now this becomes that much more likely if you are someone who works from home or works with homes. But it is gonna feel like a dream come true, like a wonderful turnaround. That is the best way that this energy can manifest. And with Mercury retrograde, it tends to be that what you thought was there ends up not being there, and then it comes back around and it is there. And so this can happen where it comes to financial opportunity in your life. Again, I would encourage you, no large, uh, large kind of spending, especially where it comes to something that you think is going to help you to make money. That's where you want to be mindful. Anything that has to do with matters of home as well. I would be mindful of spending a whole lot of money where it comes to what's happening on the home front, uh, unless it is something that again, you were going to get, and then you missed that opportunity. And then here it is again, then that can be one very positive way to use this energy. This part of the sky is also connected to self-esteem and self-worth and self-love, and you are about to get a spiritual boost where it comes to these very matters. With Saturn and Pluto in the sign just before you're speaking with this new moon, it speaks powerfully to a sense of karmicness to what is transpiring and profound healing. What was unknown to you becoming known to you and facilitating a more important and more profound growth in your understanding of self, but also rooting it ultimately in spirit. And the thing is that when it is that you root your self-value, you ground your self-value in spiritual principles, you can't help but see yourself with more loving eyes. And that may very well be the biggest and most far-reaching blessing of this time. A changed perspective on yourself can change just about anything for the better. But really the big news, the monumental news is that under the light of the new moon, your ruling planet Uranus will change signs. Last year, you got a little taste of this in the middle of the year, but now here it is. Uranus will move into the very foundation of your chart for a nice long stay for the better part of the next seven years. I did record a Uranus special that was published last year on my YouTube channel, and I will link to it in the description below where I really dive into Uranus moving into the sign of Taurus and what it could mean for you and your sign. However, at least for this month, I feel like there's this intimate connection between what is happening with the new moon and what is happening with your ruling planet because they are happening on the same day. And because Mars is already in this part of the sky speaking to that new moon as well. And so this to me is about a redefining of where you've been, understanding home differently, your past differently, 
and using your past to liberate your present and your future. Now this can be a new understanding of your ancestors and how it is that you can use that to propel yourself into your future. But it can also be changing on the home front. So buying, selling, moving, new roommate. I wouldn't advise it with a Mercury retrograde. However, this can be a time when you are seeing your living space differently and considering what it is that your options could be. And new options can show up in a flash. And especially where it is that it is connected to work and money related opportunities, well, it becomes that much more likely that changes can happen in a flash very quickly and put you in that much more of an empowered place where you feel like you're able to express something truly authentic within you right where you are. Now, as we get later into the month, right around the 21st, we are going to have the equinox. So happy equinox to everybody out there. But under the light of the equinox, we are also going to have a full moon. Now this full moon is carrying forward a trend that we've seen lately, which is full moons at the very beginning of their respective sign, which means that there's a sense of completion. That's what full moons are. There are a sense of things coming full circle or culmination, but within that is also a beginning is a sense of what's new and next and exciting for you, a new path being revealed as a result of what it is that is closing up and finishing up at that. So we have this full moon taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world. This can be anything from long distance travel or immigration or citizenship. It can be a philosophical understanding. What also could come into focus at this time is a legal matter uh, or a matter having to do with higher education. So if you are involved in a process of higher education, if it is that you're involved in a legal matter, this is where you could find it coming to a close in a way that helps you to feel that much more free and open to your future. If it is that you are uh, engaged in a matter of immigration or citizenship, this can be a time when you have to focus on that, but it can come to a close in a way, again, that helps you to feel like you're starting a brand new chapter. And of course, because philosophy is covered here, politics is covered here, you may find yourself increasingly interested in these topics as well, but ultimately it is in a way that helps you to feel that much more connected to a path that you may be embarking on now. This part of the sky is also connected to being in front of more of the world than you have been before. And so you can expect more expansive opportunities to find you at this time, especially as it relates to teaching. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I have saved the best news for this because Venus will enter your sign right out of the gate on the first of the month and will be here, will be in your sign for almost the entirety of the month. And this tends to be one of those windows where love becomes that much easier. Now, it isn't just about love when Venus enters your sign. It can make life feel that much easier. And beautifying treatments of any kind can feel like they go that much more in a way that you like. Money can feel easier. It feels like you're able to be that much more generous with others as well because you have it to give and it tends to be a time when you are more willing to spend. And so keep that in mind with all the things I said about Mercury retrograde and the new moon in the early part of the month. But for all that, this can be a very powerful time for coming into an appreciation of your unique beauty and fully owning it in a way that you feel connected to and in a way that you love. But of course, this can speak to matters of love as well. If you are open to meeting someone new with Venus in your sign, it becomes that much easier to just attract love into your life and to feel a sense of people being able to acknowledge and appreciate your unique beauty, as I like to call it. But also it just makes you more attractive and you're more uh, willing to reciprocate the attention that you receive. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this can be a time when you are feeling more open to love uh, and that allows you to feel like you're enjoying your life that much more getting to know this person. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this is energy that can help 
your bond to feel that much easier, like it flows that much more and help the two of you to feel that much more connected. It can be you that is more willing to be loving, but this tends to be a time when you're able to attract into your life. And so chances are you will be attracting more romantic experiences with this person that you love. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, right? Your ruling planet changing signs that will always represent a brand new chapter for you a sense of you starting over, a sense of beginning and excitement about that. And new opportunities are gonna find you, but they're gonna be rooted in where it is that you have been. At the same time though, of course, Venus entering your sign, that is just so nice. This tends to bring with it one of the more romantic windows that you are going to have all year. So you might as well enjoy it. Make sure that you are doing things to pamper yourself, whatever it is that that means to you. And understand that this is about tapping into faith ultimately and tapping into a spirit of blessings enjoying the incarnation as venus is often known and understanding that you are incarnated for a reason that our senses uh, can be the source and be the the recipient and facilitate great joy in our life and venus in your sign if it is anything it is pure joy well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.